God is still honoring his words through his prophet. On Sunday, the 31st of December 2017, during Crossover night service, Prophet U.E. James gave a prophecy concerning political uproar in Nigerian politics, and the prophecy has come to fulfillment. January 2018. Let's listen to his words. Generally, I told you I don't want to say anything about politics. But there's going to be uproar between the APC and PDP throughout this year. Uproar, serious uproar, fight, in fight, both the parties. Mm. But the, the two parties, they're going to be a serious war, eternal war within themselves. And up to the point, one of it will want to remove their chairman. And if they remove the chairman, a lot of things will scatter. So I think I should keep it there. So those politicians, they know themselves. I'm not a politician. I'm a party man to PDP, APC, AD, APCA. Every press God. Why I have interest, I got show me that, is that they are, they are like, just like dominant factors of this country. It's going to be a very serious problem. In ABC and PDP, there's going to be a serious problem. And if the case is not taken, another party will just come out. If the case is not taken, another party, some will come out from here, come out from here, come join another one. And fly. So I don't know. I'm just giving you a word. It's a pregnancy. So that's what I'm saying. I think I don't say so much. Hallelujah. But the good news is that the Naira will have value again. Economy is going to improve. The price of community will drop. Former President Olusegun Obasanjo's proposed political movement, Coalition for Nigeria CN, has been launched in Abuja, the nation's capital. Will it metamorphose into a political party? Will it be a strong force? And our Progressive Congress APC insists it is tr its true federalism report will address the many structural problems facing the country. The PDP said the report is a ruse. Many thanks for joining in, everyone. This is Politics in the Life on Channel Television. So many things happening at the same time in the nation's capital. A lot of activities happening ahead of 2019. Welcome on board, everyone, and let's get started. I'm Sean Joaquin Baloye in our Lagos uh, studio. Okay, then. When former President Olusha Gnobasanjo released his statement, which is widely talked about, he proposed the formation of a, a new movement. Today, the movement has been launched. Former Austrian State Governor, Mr. Lagun Soye Onyilola, and former Governor of Cross River State, Donald Duke, are among those who launched a coalition for Nigeria movement in Abuja ahead of the 2019 general elections. The conveners described the political movement as that which is on a rescue mission to promote good welfare for citizens and reclaim Nigeria from injustice, poverty, and insecurity. As stated earlier, this movement exists to promote the welfare of all citizens of a united Nigeria guided by justice and fairness. In carrying out this task, we have taken into consideration the various calls for equity in political and social relationships across the various segments of the country. This movement, therefore, has it as its cardinal objective the promotion of equity and equality of opportunity for all 
all our compatriots in order to have a truly just and united Nigeria. In more specific terms, we invite our youths and women to use the window provided by this movement to take their desired place in the leadership of their country. We also make a firm commitment to galvanize efforts to arrest the current deliberate official actions that marginalize them in the scheme of things. But then, there is a group of individuals making efforts to form a formidable force to possibly cringe power and create some balance. But what is the party in power already doing to solve the many problems identified in the past months or years? Seven days ago, the governor, El Rufai, 